In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the coordinate plane and just reviewing what the coordinate plane looks like and how it works. So the coordinate plane would be the axis of x and y together. So if you notice, here is our x-axis and here is the y-axis. And what happens is when they cross, you get four quadrants. Quadrant one is in the top right. Quadrant two is in the top left. Quadrant three is the bottom left. And quadrant four is the bottom right. And then what I wanna do next is just talk to you about a little bit of vocabulary that goes along with that coordinate plane. So your first blank to fill in would be a coordinate plane is formed by the intersection of a horizontal line and that horizontal line is called the x-axis and I showed you that up above here this is our x-axis and the vertical number line is called the y-axis and I showed you that going up right here so now our second blank says the axes meet, the axes meet at a point, and that point where these two axes meet is actually called a name, and it is called the origin. The axes also divide the coordinate plane into four quadrants. These are labeled with a Roman numeral above, so I showed you that, one, two, three, and four and they always start with one and they go counterclockwise. So notice how in the top right we went kind of backwards as the clock. Each point in a coordinate plane is represented by what is called an ordered pair. You could also call this a point. And the point needs to be represented by an X. So if it's positive or negative, that will tell you which direction to go for the X and then a y value, which is also positive or negative, and that will tell you which direction to go as well. The fifth thing that I have here for our vocabulary would be that the first number goes in the x direction. It's the x coordinate, which will actually tell you if you're going to go left or right. And then the second number in this ordered pair is the y coordinate and that is gonna tell you whether you go up or down. 